Welcome to this video about targeted therapies given to people with melanoma skin cancer. If you've already watched the video about immunotherapy, you will have seen this diagram before. It tells you that there are six main ways in which cancer is treated. Surgery, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, hormone therapy, immunotherapy, and targeted therapies. In this video, we're learning about the targeted therapies that are sometimes given to people with melanoma skin cancer. The treatments I'm referring to are called BRAF inhibitors and MEK inhibitors. In these tables, you can see the names of the most common BRAF inhibitors and MEK inhibitors. One important thing to mention is that these treatments are only suitable for about 40 to 50% of people with melanoma. That's because they only work if the person's cancer cells contain a faulty version of the BRAF protein. Sometimes doctors refer to this as being BRAF mutation positive. I'll tell you why this is in a few minutes. But before I get into lots of detail about these treatments, I first want to explain what we mean when we say that a treatment is targeted. In this video, I want to try and answer these questions. Let's start with a definition. Targeted therapies are treatments that target a particular protein or a process inside some of the body's cells. If it's been designed well, then it targets something that is essential to the survival of cancer cells, but not to the survival of healthy cells. So it kills the cancer cells, but leaves healthy cells alone. The reason it's possible to design a drug that selectively kills cancer cells is because they're different from healthy cells. And the reason they're different is because their DNA, their internal instruction manual, has been damaged. In people with melanoma skin cancer, this damage has often been caused by UV light from the sun. And because of this damage, the person's cancer cells are manufacturing faulty proteins. Proteins are big, complicated molecules that our cells construct one piece at a time using the instructions in their DNA. If the cell's DNA telling it how to make a particular protein is damaged, then it makes a faulty version of that protein. The proteins a cell makes dictates its behavior. So if it's making a faulty protein, it will start behaving strangely and it might become a cancer cell. Now let's look at how targeted therapies kill cancer cells. Targeted treatments are often designed to block a faulty protein, a faulty protein that is present in the person's cancer cells, but not in their healthy cells. And one of the most important faulty proteins that melanoma cells can contain is a faulty version of the BRAF protein. BRAF is a protein that encourages cells to multiply by activating a second protein called MEK. In healthy cells, there's a normal version of BRAF that only occasionally activates MEK. But the cancer cells of someone with melanoma skin cancer often contain a faulty, overactive version of BRAF. This faulty BRAF protein continuously activates MEK, which forces the cells to multiply and keeps them alive. BRAF and MEK inhibitors are tiny chemical compounds that can get inside the body cells. When they enter a healthy cell, nothing much happens because healthy BRAF wasn't doing very much anyway. But in cancer cells, the faulty BRAF protein and the MEK protein were keeping them alive and driving their behavior. And when you block BRAF and MEK, the cells die. As I mentioned earlier, there are three different BRAF inhibitors called Vemurafenib, Dabrafenib, and Encarafenib. And there are also three MEK inhibitors called trametinib, cobimetinib, and binimetinib. The three BRAF inhibitors and the three MEK inhibitors are pretty much the same as one another and work just as well. 
but they are a bit different from each other in the side effects they cause. We'll now come on to the question of whether everyone with melanoma skin cancer should be receiving BRAF and MEK inhibitors. I'll also look at whether they work for everyone they're given to and whether they keep working forever. Let's look first at who benefits from BRAF and MEK inhibitors. The key thing here is that not everybody's melanoma cells contain faulty BRAF and it's only if the cells contain faulty BRAF that they're killed by BRAF and MEK inhibitors. So before prescribing BRAF and MEK inhibitors, the doctor first asks for the person's cancer cells to be checked for faulty BRAF. If BRAF is faulty, then the person is generally offered a combination of a BRAF inhibitor and a MEK inhibitor. Of course, if the person's cancer has been caught early and their doctor is confident that they can be cured with surgery alone, they won't be offered these extra treatments. Now let's look at the question of whether they work for everyone they're given to and whether they keep working forever. To understand the answer to these questions, we need to look at how cancers develop. Here, we have one lonely cancer cell which contains faulty BRAF. You might think that when this cell multiplies, it creates millions of new cells that are exactly like this one, like on this diagram. But that's not the case. Cancer cells are unstable and they pick up more DNA damage all the time. So what you end up with is millions of cancer cells that are all a bit different from each other. And by the time the person's melanoma is diagnosed, there are lots and lots of different populations of cancer cells. It might be that there are some cells that are resistant and won't die when the person is given their treatment. Any cells that survive might multiply and cause the person's cancer to return. So for some people, it might initially look like their treatment is working, but then a few months or years later, their disease returns. For other people, the treatment might not look like it's had any effect at all. This might be because the original cell, the one that caused their cancer, was making other faulty proteins that mean BRAF and MEK inhibitors don't work. Or it might be that there are so many cancer cells in their cancer that are resistant for different reasons that the treatment doesn't seem to make an impact. Or maybe their cancer cells might be protected from the effects of treatment by other cells in their environment. The bottom line is that even when a person's cancer cells contain faulty BRAF protein, their doctor can't be 100% certain that a BRAF MEK inhibitor combination is going to help them. In fact, we've discovered that about 70% of the people treated with BRAF and MEK inhibitors benefit from them and their cancer shrinks. And for most people given them for advanced melanoma, this effect generally lasts one or two years but there are some people who are still on treatment with their cancer still under control many years later. One more thing to mention is that as well as being offered to people whose melanoma has spread, some people are offered BRAF and MEK inhibitors after surgery to make it less likely their disease will come back. Now let's look at the final question, whether BRAF and MEK inhibitors cause side effects. To answer this question, I want to go back to the definition of a targeted therapy. I said near the beginning that targeted therapies are treatments that target something that is essential to cancer cells, but that isn't important to healthy cells. But if the target is important to healthy cells, or if the treatment isn't very precise, then some of the person's healthy cells will get damaged and they will experience side effects. Both these things are a little bit true about BRAF and MEK inhibitors. Even so, the side effects these treatments cause are generally relatively mild compared to something like chemotherapy. But most people do develop some side effects in the early weeks of their treatment and they might need extra support 
or they might need to pause treatment or switch to a different combination of inhibitors. Also, because people tend to be taking these drugs for a long time, it's important for them to talk through the possible side effects with the doctors and nurses treating them so that they know what to expect and how to manage any that occur. I'm going to finish off with a summary. I began by saying that targeted therapies are drugs that have been designed to block something very specific. Often their target is a protein or a process that cancer cells are relying on for their survival, but something that is hopefully unimportant to healthy cells. Often, the target is a faulty protein that the cancer cells are making as a consequence of damage to their DNA, their internal instruction manual. In about 50% of melanoma skin cancers, the cancer cells are making a faulty, overactive version of a protein called BRAF. BRAF controls another protein called MEK, which then sends signals into the cell's nucleus, telling it to multiply and survive. BRAF inhibitors, often given in combination with MEK inhibitors, have become important treatments for many people whose melanomas contain faulty BRAF. However, sometimes these treatments don't work at all, or they work for a time, and then the person's cancer gets worse again. When this happens, it's generally because of cancer cells that contain further damage that have made them insensitive. Lastly, the side effects caused by BRAF and MEK inhibitors tend to be things such as skin rashes, tiredness, and diarrhea. These side effects are generally much milder than those caused by chemotherapy. But because people often take these drugs for many months or even longer, the side effects can still affect people's quality of life and need to be discussed with their medical team.